sugar plums welcome back to my channel today's guys is extreme recycle day <laughs> i'm gonna be showing you how to make an ottoman using plastic bottle guys this diy is crazy it's like fun it's easy and the best thing is you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it if no money at all so guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into that tutorial right now and i'm gonna be showing you how to do that let's go okay guys so what we're gonna be using for this diy is apple juice bottle yes a lot of apple juice bottle <laughs> so i have nine apple juice bottle guys just because i'm gonna make mine to be square but if you want your ottoman or poof whatever you call it to be uh, round or different shape use um you know a different um shape of bottle if you like if you want it to be round you can use those two liter coke that will be best so but i'm gonna go ahead and use my apple juice that's what i have i have a lot of them so i'm gonna be using nine so first thing we're gonna be doing is place them make sure they all nice in place you know like straight and then we're gonna be using good old tape to make sure we tie everything together i told you guys today is gonna be extreme recycle day so trash to treasure that's the name of the video today so i'm gonna go ahead and use tape and i'm gonna go ahead and tape the whole thing make sure you tape both top and bottom part guys so that way they don't move and then of course because they are plastic and we're gonna need to put foam on top of it so and you can put hot glue on it guys it will melt your bottle so what i'm gonna be doing is taking like a bunch of old magazine of books whatever you don't use guys and have like some thickness to it just go ahead and use that so i'm gonna go ahead and place my magazine and old books all around my uh, plastic bottle and then use again tape to tape them together and we're gonna go ahead and speed through that guys you don't need to see me going slowly and do that so basically just go ahead and use your you know your old magazine or old books whatever you, you you're not using even newspaper will do guys just put like a decent amount uh, around the plastic bottle so that way when you use hot glue on it it's not gonna melt your bottle so once we finish doing that guys now it add, actually add a little bit of heaviness to it which is good and um now again extreme 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 recycle day guys i had those old plywood that i use for a different uh project and then those uh i had a, a piece left that i used to um i use this for uh spray painting when i'm spray painting stuff i'll put the uh, this my stuff whatever i'm spray painting on top of this so but again extreme recycle day so i'm using some of it <laughs> so i went and cut two little pieces of square one and then so we can put for the top and the bottom part that's the only piece of wood we're gonna be using on top of uh for this ottoman guys nothing else so right now i'm just marking where i have the um, the cap for the um for the plastic um apple juice bottles so because we're going to be using screw to attach that uh the wood to it so you you need to make sure that you know for the top part of the plastic bottle you make sure the screw go all the way to the cap itself so i'm just going to go ahead and use just a regular uh, screwdriver guys you can use um a drill if you want but it's not necessary because my uh, my plywood is very thin so you know so i'm just using a regular screwdriver and screw it it goes really nicely it's it it's not a lot of work anyway so once you finish doing that guys i'm gonna be showing you it's very sturdy it's like it's not gonna go anywhere the wood itself is nicely attached to the bottles so that's a plus guys and then again guys i'm using some leftover foam that i had so guys it's gonna look a little funky at first but don't worry about it guys the end result gonna be beautiful i promise you that so i'm gonna go ahead and just directly use hot glue to glue my foam and then again guys low pieces of uh, uh foam that i have left now this is a gap that you have um there it's easy to fix i'm showing you that guys all you have to do is like put some foam on it and then you know so everything can be level again i'm not putting the foam on uh, the hot glue directly on the plastic bottle remember i use tape all around it so the actually the glue uh is falling on the tape and i put some glue at the um, 
on the uh, at the bottom of the wood itself so that way my plastic bottle doesn't melt and don't put hot glue on your plastic guys it's not gonna be good so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put foam all around my um, my little square and then until we finish guys like I say it's gonna look a little bit of funky but don't worry about it the key is to use a very thick very thick batting on top of it and once you use your batting on top of it it will level everything and make everything smooth and very nice looking now i'm gonna go ahead and mark my the part that i'm gonna be doing some tufting now i decided to do tufting at the top and one on each of the side of the um, the the um, the square and this part i have the three it's gonna be the front part even if that doesn't make any sense does it need to have a tough uh, you know front part no but i wanted to have like a distinct side that's gonna be a front side i don't know whatever you want to call it but again guys i'm using a very very thick uh batting for this because this is gonna make sure that you know any funkiness that you had with your foam is gonna be nicely leveled and as you can see my batting is very 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 thick guys so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it uh tough and i'm gonna go ahead and staple it all around until i have a very nice you know fluffy square looking box so again i'm gonna go ahead and speed through that you don't need to see me going one staple at a time nobody have time for that <laughs> okay guys so now the uh, trick with this is because your the batting is very thick is to cut the corners you know once you cut the corners you'll have a nice shape to your box now i'm gonna go ahead and open the holes again for my tufting and then i'm gonna go ahead and do that you know all, all around wherever i have the holes and then that's it we're gonna go ahead and use our fabric now today's fabric guys is a very basic uh, fabric but I actually like it when I first got it I didn't like it at all but I end up liking it later <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up to um, me doing the tough thing again guys I've been doing tough thing for quite a while in the channel uh, you know on the channel it's very easy to do find your holes pull your fabric taut use a staple gun or a screw whatever you are uh, you're gonna use to you know put uh, your button down so I'm using a staple so I'm uh, speeding up to that guys uh, again it's very easy to get to do guys and if you any of you want me to do like something how to eat do like uh, um, a tough thing easy I can just go ahead and make a, a small video for you guys but I don't need to go ahead and show you that in slow motion nobody have time for that again guys <laughs> okay so now guys thank you so much for stopping by um, back guys if you're an old subscriber and if you're new guys thank you and welcome to my channel don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel like comment and go ahead and uh, make sure that you hit that bell icon and make sure it's on all guys so that way you can be notified on all my new upload thank you so much for stopping by guys i really 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 appreciate that now because i'm using uh just a one piece uh fabric guys and it's kind of um a little bit hard because if i was using like you know when usually when i do like uh tough thing you you cut your fabric you know different you know way to um do it but because i'm using one um, piece of fabric now to make sure that it's gonna uh, lay nice and neat on the you know on the ottoman uh, i'm gonna go ahead and make like one big pleat going from top to all the way to the bottom and i'm gonna do that in each one of the um tough thing buttons that i have now once you finish doing that guys uh it's time to go ahead and staple everything you know at the bottom and to finish with it i'm gonna go ahead and staple um the fabric to the bottom once i finish making all my pleat and because on the corners guys i, I, I also went on each one of the corners and make uh, on extra pleat so that mean i'm gonna have um the three regular pleats from uh the three buttons and an extra pleat from each one of the corner which means that each one of the sides gonna have five pleats going down if that make any sense so once we finish doing that we're gonna go ahead and staple everything once we finish stapling everything 
it's time to cut the extra fabric that we don't need at the bottom to make it nice and neat so we're gonna go ahead and cut that and once we finish doing that guys we're gonna move on to the next step Alright guys, now because I don't want my plate to be showing, I'm gonna go ahead and use that trim and it's um, like a, um, it looked like a, um, an um, tufting um, nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, but they are plastic guys, it's easy to use. So what I'm doing right now, I'm not gonna actually sew or sew the whole thing um you know to the ottoman i'm just gonna go ahead and sew the first button and the last button because i wanted to you know make sure that it's not gonna move when i'm gonna glue it down so that's the only reason i'm gonna go ahead and sew the first one now as i'm, I'm showing you now guys i saw the first part of it the first button and then i'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue to finish the whole uh the whole string so basically i'm gonna go ahead and do that for every single uh, pleat that I added on the ottoman and I'm gonna go ahead and sew the first button on each one of them and the last one as well so but um, because I put like the um, uh, a tufting button in three side of the um, ottoman and uh, three on the part that's gonna be on the front now for the part that have the tough thing button on it you're gonna need to cut your trim so that way when you put your button the, your button gonna be sitting nicely in to connect both of the string you're gonna you'll see what I mean when I when I do it I'm gonna do it right now for you now you see me marking where I, um, I'm my uh, trim need to be I'm gonna cut it once I cut this part I'm gonna finish you know so in uh, the last one and then i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing for the um bottom half part so sew it glue it and sew it again and then once we have that little space in between that's where we're gonna add a button and we're only gonna do that for the part that have the button for every single other one we're just gonna go ahead and use the trim um long we don't need to cut it so i'm gonna go ahead and uh let you see this part and then we'll be right back to show you the next step all All right, now that we finished adding our crystal button, now I'm showing right now for every single other plate that doesn't have uh, a button, we're gonna just go ahead and do just a long string. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for every single one of them. And then after we finish guys, this is what it's gonna be looking like. Now this is the, the side that's gonna be the front part. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add my three buttons there and I'm using the uh, crystal buttons uh, I think they look pretty nice uh, again guys shiny things pretty things <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add my three buttons now again guys because this fabric have that um, very beautiful orangey red uh, a little pop of color in it I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little extra uh, you know thing to make it pop more and those are tear, teardrop um, uh, flat bag gem I got those from Amazon guys absolutely love them they look very very beautiful I'll leave the link for you guys in the description box below I'm just gonna go ahead and for the side that have the three buttons that's gonna be on the front part I'm just gonna go ahead and add four uh, of the teardrop uh, um, gem um, 
by each one of the buttons now um, I add those button because they have like the same orangey reddish uh, color I think it's gonna tie everything together with the fabric so I absolutely love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and add four of them making like a little flower anyway so I add that on the front part and then I think it look very very nice it tied everything together with the orange on the fabric to the orange of uh, the low jam now again guys if you're gonna do it make sure you do it take time to do a, a, just a little extra extra you know work it's not gonna kill you or making it look nice and neat i'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead at the bottom part of my uh, ottoman i'm just gonna go ahead and make it look nice and very neat now this part guys is optional you can choose to add legs to your ottoman or not but i chose to add some legs to it and those are very short very very short legs to it guys but you can just uh, place it on the floor like this because you already have wood at the bottom it's fine but I went and add those legs to it and then I added the extra uh, crystal button at the top and that's it we are completely done we have our ottoman make with apple juice plastic bottle yay <laughs> so guys this is what it look like i hope you like this video if you do not forget to go ahead and like this video leave me a comment guys and i really 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 appreciate that guys thank you so much for stopping back i love you guys thank you so much for all of the old subscribers and all of the new subscribers guys again if it's your first time here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel i will really 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 Really, really 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 appreciate that thank you so much for stopping by guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching the the rest of the video again i put some uh, picture at the end of the video for you guys i'll see you next week i love you love you guys so so much again guys until next time be blessed and stay blessed i'll see you soon bye Mwah.